In this video, we're going to talk all about wildfog.com. You know, I have a idea to get this to $1,000 sometime this year. And uh, last month, I have done a lot of work, but not a lot of work specifically on Wild Fog. Wild Fog is a little more difficult to do content because I'm doing everything myself. And I'm also creating the videos, not using any help from AI. And I do have some websites where I do use AI. But for this one in my hobby site, it's strictly me. And because I was sick most of this month, and I'm just getting over it now, I haven't been able to focus to do this that much. But I did do some things, and we'll go over those. And I'm going to actually give you an idea of how I'm kind of making a little bit of extra money, a little here, a little there, a little here, a little there, just by going through and creating this content. With that said, let's go ahead and just hit the computer. Here we are with the Wild Fog update. Only one post was done. I have another one that I need to write, but I just haven't felt good enough to do it. I did create two new videos, which was great, which brings the total up to four. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how those are doing as well. My goal has remained the same. Build a Wild Fog brand and be unstoppable. Uh, this month I need to refocus on this project, but with that said, I do have a lot of things going on. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. There's so many different opportunities I have right now that I've just been nonstop. So last month I did mention about Wild Fog, working on E, optimizing some articles, you know, doing more YouTube videos. Some of this has changed. I think for Wild Fog, I'm going to let E rest for a while because I don't think that's going to be that huge unless we get to a certain area. I am doing the interview with Kyle. However, we're going to do it with my other site instead of this site. So we're just going to delete all of this too because he's going to go over and check out RC Ride On and do the eat on there, which is a site that I've highly dedicated a lot of time and resources to having really good eat. So I still am going to optimize some articles. I have started doing those already and I am doing the YouTube videos. How are we doing on the videos? Let me show you. So this is my YouTube channel for Wild Fog. We're up to four videos and 13 subscribers. Look out. You want to help out, make sure you just go to youtube.com slash wildfog YouTube and hit that subscribe. Unfortunately, somebody already had Wild Fog, so I had to get YT on the end. Very surprised by that. And let's check the analytics quick. So you can see these videos are evergreen. So we got 49 views in the last two days. We got 19 on the flame essential, 15 on the fog machine, 10 on the lamp, and five on the gauge. So these are going through and doing something and continuing to get views. Not only can they drive traffic to Amazon, but they could also drive traffic to wildfog.com, which then helps the website grow as well. So this is a really good channel. I'm gonna keep it going. I have another product that I'm going to do next that I had some problems setting up with, but I'm going to try it again it probably next week, early next week, once I'm feeling a little better. So what's the deal with the videos? Well, the videos are important. You make a video on a product, you put an Amazon link. Now you have an evergreen video on that product as long as it lasts to possibly get commission. Not only that, over time, that YouTube channel can get monetized. It takes a while, but it can. Like my RC Ride On one is about a quarter of the way there. It's got enough watch time, it just needs more subscribers. So once it does go ahead and hit that, I'll be making money from the Amazon revenue and YouTube. Sounds good, right? Well, don't forget, I'm also using Humix on Azoic, which is a video platform. So I'm making money from sharing that video there. Oh wait, there's more. I also have been accepted to the Amazon Influencer Program. So now fourth, I'm cutting these videos down to make them proper for Amazon and posting them there and I'm getting commission on Amazon when people purchase them and watch my videos. Each video is hitting up to four things plus I also have the video on my website so people can get to the video from the website and the website to the video when they match up which is why I need to create another article for the lump to go through and get more traffic to that. Plans for this month, to be honest, I really don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm kind of up in the air. I have so many things going on. I'm going to work on what I said, but that's about all I have for right now.
Checking the analytics for March, we're going to go over the traffic and the money. We got 2.8 thousand users to the site, which is a 10.4% increase, which is very nice. The site seems to be doing well. I checked SERP tracker and it has risen pretty well, all green across the board there. I'm hoping to see continued growth on this. Lately, I've been kind of working on a website and then taking a break on a, going on another site and then hopping back around and that's kind of how it's been going. So let's go ahead and check performance. Here we are the last three months. So you see we're pretty solid. Looks like we're going up a little bit in clicks, but overall, not bad at all. The CTR is very nice at 4.1%. Let's check Zoic earnings. In March, we did have a little bit of a bump here. We go down and check it out here. We did $24.44, $1.24 of that is through mediation with Google Ads. Also, I did have $4.68 of premium ads. My premium ads went from $22 to $44 because all of my traffic has been growing across the board for my sites. So because of that, good things are happening. The EPMV was down $7.34 and it looks like so far this month it's also down a bit too. It's going to happen. Ad rates are kind of going all over the place right now. But the good thing is my traffic's going up, so I am seeing more money across the board. Let's check Amazon. So this is the Amazon affiliate I have set up on my website. So you can see here we are doing pretty well with $40.51. I want a little more, but I'm happy with $40 on this. So this is for the website specifically. Remember, I said I have a YouTube channel. So did we make any money on the YouTube channel? Let's check. Boom, there we go, $1.88. That's how it starts. You just need that spark of commission. You know, first you look for the clicks. Once you're getting the clicks, then you're looking for the orders. And then once you get the orders, the money follows. So there we go, $1.88 on those YouTube videos. So they are starting to go ahead and pay for themselves. And we'll see how it continues to go over time. Let's check the breakdown here. We have $40.51 from US. A dollar twenty-four for Google Ads, Azoic Ads was twenty-three twenty, and a dollar eighty-eight for the YouTube Amazon for a total of sixty-six dollars and eighty-three cents. The only thing we purchased was a nineteen ninety-nine item, which is a clear pitcher just to pour water because I wanted it for some of the things I could do for other videos. But I also put that and made it in a, a video about that pitcher in the Amazon Influencer Program. So I can make some money on that as well. I'll have more on that in the future. I'm just kind of getting started with that. But so far, it's looking very exciting. So it looks like my spreadsheet's not doing math here. <laughs> but we should be at $56.84. But for the case of this case study, we're just trying to make have $1,000 of earnings. And with that, we did go back a bit. But like I said, hopefully more time to focus coming up the next few months. The month we want to hit the $1,000 is here. That is going to be the month things take off is October because of fog machines being so popular. So we need to be ready for when that comes. That's the Wild Fog Income Report. Let me know how your sites are doing. I'll have a video of all my websites later on and you'll be able to see that. But I want to go ahead and give you the update on this. Just to let you know, I haven't forgot. I haven't lost focus. I'm just kind of spreading things around and Again, being sick for two weeks out of the month did definitely hurt this, but I was still able to get some videos up. Now I turn the question over to you. How have your sites been doing? Please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for the view. And if you're still watching, make sure you comment champion.